The Wedding Dress is the fourth garage sale mystery film. And I actually thought this would be the last one that I had to watch because I have now seen all of them apart from Searched and Seized, which is the very last one. I couldn't find it anywhere, but I've actually just bought the DVD. So I do actually have one more to watch as soon as that one arrives. Would The Wedding Dress have been a good one to finish with? It was okay. I quite enjoyed it. It's not the most intense or dramatic story, and it is quite predictable. But that being said, I, I thought it was pretty interesting. Released in 2015, directed by Peter DeLuise, written by Susie Weinert and Walter Klenhardt, and of course stars Laurie Loughlin as Jennifer Shannon. And very quickly, the subplots in this are pretty mundane, not that interesting. Hannah is having... Uh, relationship problems. I won't go into too much detail there, but she's at a bit of a crossroads with her relationship. She doesn't know what to do. It wasn't, well, I was going to say it wasn't obvious what the outcome would be, but considering I've seen the films that come after this, I had a rough idea of where it was going. And the other subplot involves the fact that Jennifer and Jason's anniversary is coming up, and Jennifer thinks Jason has forgotten. Again, it's absolutely fine. Not the most interesting, but as as padding, as filler for the main narrative, it's okay. Now, the main narrative involves, believe it or not, a wedding dress. And this is a dress that is in the antique shop. And it turns out that there's blood in, in the pocket of the dress. And Jennifer is obviously determined to find out what happens because she thinks it absolutely has to be because of a murder. Understandably, Danny suggests it could have just been somebody having a nosebleed or something like that, but Jennifer isn't happy with that explanation. And to start off with, she does have some trails to follow because there are some initials sewn into the dress, the initials presumably of the person who originally owned the dress, but it is 30, I think 35 years old or something like that. So the leads that Jennifer has are not the newest. And it's unclear, well, to begin with, it's unclear how possible it's going to be for her to find out. As we do get bits of information about the dress, as I said, it wasn't the most exciting. Not that much happens, to be perfectly honest. Not a lot happens at all. But the characters that we meet along the way are are actually all really interesting and we get time with, uh, of course, Detective Frank and Tramel and... We have some uh, interesting discussions here and there. So it may not be the most gripping. It may not be the most complex narrative. And as I said, I did think it was pretty obvious. Not completely. I didn't work out every tiny aspect of what had happened. But once we started to unravel things, I honestly feel like there was only one possible outcome from my perspective. My mind, unusually for Garage Sale Mystery, my mind never went all over the place often with these films, and in fact, this might be the only case where I feel this way. Pretty much every other garage sale mystery gives us about 20 suspects. I'm exaggerating, but there's a great handful of potential motives, and I'm never quite sure where to look. This one felt very straightforward, and I didn't mind it. I, I really didn't mind it with this one. It was still an interesting story, and I was still keen to find out, you know, to have confirmed exactly what had happened. So I enjoyed it well enough. If it had been the last one for me to watch, it wouldn't have been the strongest finale. But again, it's okay. But I have I have one more to watch, uh, Searched and Seized, which I'm, well, I'm looking forward to it, but I'll be devastated when it's over. It's also the last one that they made. As far as I'm aware, they started making another one until... For obvious reasons, they had to stop. So we'll see in due course what that one is like. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the wedding dress and I certainly recommend it.